Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Bowie. This is Matthew, and I'm alone again. So, I'm going to be honest. You know, I've done a lot of thinking, a lot of personal thinking over um, this, over this Christmas and this New Year, and I've decided, you know, I kind of dislike this game. I borderline hate it. So, now that that's off my chest, I think I'm going to sit back and just not take it for face value and just be like, yeah, man, I'm just... I'll just go with the flow. So right now we're at the Bolt Station and hopefully this won't, I think we're really, if I remember from Amy's route, we're pretty close to being done, so we just have to get these capsules from I remembered. From what little I remember. All freaking 30 of them. So we're just going to speed along as up to you real quick and, you know, because that's what he does. It's, they call this they call this mode with um, Team Chaotix to be, you know, very unique gameplay, you know, just mission based and it's not really that unique, it plays pretty much the same way, you just, there's just more annoyances involved, so, I mean, make of that what you will, um, I'm not, I don't want to be this, I don't want to make this too much of a shit fest on Sonic because, you know, that's, happens a lot as it is, especially with this game, I don't think it has the biggest fan base. Um, at least not as big as the Sonic Adventure people who, you know, they... Some people love their Sonic Adventure, especially that second one. Alright. Uh, okay, good. I, I learned my lesson from the last time. So, there's just weird mechanics that I just have to get over, um, you know, not understanding. And the big thing with that is, is... Okay. Um... The, I guess, how you move forward just randomly, there's, it, it feels a little inconsistent, but if I just, you know, assume it's coming, that's better than nothing. Okay. Ow, um, that's fine, I'll just switch to being a B again. So, I think if I just handle this calmly, I can get through this, um, I know this is supposedly, like, really just by far the worst section of the game, and... I feel like once I get over it, uh, everything else will be a lot better. So, I remember this being a puzzle I commented on. Um, I feel like that could be a more complex puzzle than it is. That's for sure, but that's good enough for me. So, I mean, it's more puzzle than the rest of the Sonic games have, so... Um, I'm just looking for something, you know? Ow! What hit me? I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean... I, I still just don't know what hit me. That's I'm just confused at this point. Not angry. Um, I can jump down here if I remember. Yes. No. Nobody. Mm -mm. Don't just switch directions on me. So down here is another one of these crates, and I forgot how the the camera controls are a little bit inversed. Um, well, that's something to get used to. Okay. So, Victor, Vector, I just, okay, I have one life left. So, I feel like I really want to get through Team Chaotix today. I don't know what hit me, once again. Um, I really want to get through Team Chaotix today, so I'm going to be, well, I already got the thing down there, so I don't have to worry about it. Well, now I do have to worry about it. Um, so, I'm going to be much more, um, Careful, and I'm going to do a lot of cutting, so anytime I, like, die and I'm far away from something, I'm just going to immediately cut, um, just to make things run a little bit more smoothly. Okay, take the lead, Charmy. You're really, uh, charming me here. Um, I'm actually, I've seen, I think, a little, like, at least some of this gameplay does a speedrun. It's actually kind of interesting. Um, I don't know much about it. I think I want to learn a little bit more about it. Because I think that'd be actually a really interesting thing to add to talking to when doing the Let's Play. is just knowing more about the speedrun strats and different ways to play the game. And I think that's something I would like to maybe involve myself in a little bit more in the future. Because um, I've been doing a lot of thinking about, you know, my life personally um, recently. And, you know, what I can do better. And how I can just, you know, become a Let's Play extraordinaire. That's what I'm going to call Okay, I don't need both of you there. Good, good. Um, 
I don't even know what that guy's deal is, but nah, I just screw him. And we go down here. I missed those. I if I remember, there's nothing over there. Is this breakable? Nope. Oh, I just knocked this down. That's came from above, and I'll get him. I will just jump in here. It doesn't really matter. And I think I'm, I'm pretty much back to where I was before, but uh, this part I just remember being a little annoying. Um, okay. Ow. Stop it. I guess I'll just do this. This always works. <laughs> yeah, that's like, at least, that's one of the enjoyable, really enjoyable things about this game is just, it's kind of dumb with the way it works sometimes, but... Um, I really just need to make sure I don't accidentally jump into the the gun thing. Another thing that I that I actually like about this is that um, they usually give you more than what you need. Um, like for these uh, crates thing or whatever I have to destroy, there's usually more than what's necessary with the other level, and that just makes it a lot more convenient to you know if you miss one, it's not the end of the world, but. It can be repetitive if, you know, it's a little bit like the one that had, oh, kill all 100 area enemies in this area. That was one of my least favorite missions. And it was actually the first time I played this game, I was like, hey, I'm going to play the alligator. And so that that mission became one of my first impressions of it. And uh, that wasn't the biggest thing, but I thought this would be a good game. Initially, I thought this would be a fun game to make fun of on this channel. But I think, you know, I've done some thinking about what I want to do with my channel. And it doesn't, you know, I guess fit exactly what you know I think my channel should be because um, I you know I really just want to improve on some things um, and I guess it oh 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 that happened that was my bad I can't die again oh well I'll see you guys back over there All right, so we're back. I uh, just dropped in. I forgot to start talking immediately, so sorry. Uh, oh yeah, like what happened last time? He switched me to Victor, and I'm pressing B because I'm just smashing it. Well, you know what's like you say, you know you're you're out again, you're back again. So I'll see you guys back over there in a minute. All right, guys, we're back. Okay, so I finally got through that again. Um, I forgot how I died again, but... Oh, yeah. I sh don't spam B. That's the thing. I can't do that, because then when I change to Victor, I'll just, you know, get... You know, pounded into oblivion. Yeah, I really wish they didn't do that. Like, I know how the game works at this point, and I should be able to make my own choices about which character is best to use during which scenarios. Um, and I think that's kind of... You know important and it's weird to take that you know that away I guess that agency away from the player um, and it can be it's just a little jarring and then when you die because of it, it's really frustrating um, at least that's my experience thus far with it um, I can see during s some things it could be helpful but you also can just change on your own at any point so it just seems kind of redundant to force you to change um, because I'll be playing as a character I want to play as you know uh, that's just me thinking they go like the game's going against its own watch image again. I don't know what that just did, but probably that's something good. Usually buttons are good for you. That broke that. Now I don't have to worry. And let's just go over here. So I'm farther than I was last time. That's really good. And there's another key. That's good. That's good. So no, go this way. Yeah. This is stressful for me since I've <laughs> it's taken a long time to get this far in. Um. Okay, okay, we're on a super fast train. So I'm not sure how I feel about this. Okay. That was frustrating. Um, I don't really know what I was supposed to do there. I just button mashed and it eventually worked out for me, which. It's kind of a weird thing to think about, but I'm super close. I'm super close. Oh, I really just can't wait to be normal 3L Canyon. 
I think this has been my least favorite level thus far. It was fine when uh, we were playing as Team Rose, but... Um, I don't know. Team Chaotix like, just makes things a lot worse for me, I think. And I'm so glad that just didn't instantly kill me. Okay, Team Blast. <sighs> for whenever you see a group of enemies you just don't want to deal with, it's there for you. Actually, I think I like the Team Blast. I actually, that's actually one of the mechanics I really really do like and I don't know what I'm supposed to do here it says speed oh I think it's speed at that point but okay well I guess all the way back here that hurts all right well I'll see you there again in a second Alright, so we're back. And can I land there? Nope, 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 nope. I don't want to... This, this is just frustrating. Okay, okay, I did it. I did it. I don't know what I did, but I did it, and that's all that matters. Alright, there. that's dead, and is there anything here? Nope. Alright, uh, big boy. Can I hit that? Oh, that's cool. That's real cool. That's... All that matters, and am I gonna land here? Oh. Okay, okay, I just thought it just killed me then. <laughs> I wouldn't have been surprised. Oh, oh boy, I have no idea what's going on, but this is actually kinda cool. What happened? Okay, you know what? It's Sonic's rule, Sonic's game. I only have three left. I have one life left. I have one chance. I'm going to go for it. I'll see you guys there. Well, well, I died again. <sighs> Another game over on that damn level. Uh, you know what? I'm keeping going. I'm keeping strong. I'm keeping true. I'm going to beat Team Chaotix tonight. So... I'll meet you back there again. Why am I doing this? Alright guys, we're back to the train part. Uh, that took me a, a good bit. And I actually was able to find some more lives than usual on the way. So that's a very good thing. And I'll take that with no complaints. So now, um, if I end up dying again, if I end up getting another game over, which I hope I don't, but... I think I'll try to show off that route that actually uh, gives you a 1-up, because that's actually really useful, especially during that last segment, which I was having a lot of trouble with and dying on a lot. Um, I think you get the 1-up there every single time, so um, it's not just like, oh, it disappears after you die, so it's a... I think it's a, it's a pretty valuable resource to have. Oh god, that terrified me. Okay, engine core. Do -do -do, shoot that. Now, and is there something here that's just there for looks? Okay, it's the same kind of color as the other thing, so that's blown up. And we're back here, and I'm terrified, so it drops me in here. What was what hit me the first two times? That's what I'm wondering. Okay, because I was just right there. I wasn't talking. I was trying to pay attention to the instructions, and um, I just didn't. I saw the third thing hit me, but I didn't see the first two things, and that was the part that okay, that was just my fault. All right, you know what? I'm gonna stop talking now. I'll see you guys back over there. All right, we're back again. Let me. Does can this thing jump? Okay. Okay, I see it. So I just have to jump over pink. That's it. So just look for pink. Okay, that's uh, that's nice. Just one more. I don't know where it is. Okay, now I have to actually control it. Ooh. Okay, that was terrifying. That was absolutely. I thought I was dead. 
Yes! Oh, thank God I did it. That was terrifying. It was on the edge of my seat the entire time, and I'm just glad that's over. That was painful to play, replay through it over and over again, so I'm just glad that I don't have to do it again. Thanks. You know, that's really helped me boost my self-esteem, you know, Vector the Crocodile. But I got 29 of 28. Is it going to go up? Yeah, 29. So there should be a cutscene in a boss fight now. Oh, yep. Oh, this one. I remember this fight. This fight was... Like all other fights, it, it seems to be pretty inconsistent, so... Yeah, hit that wing. Okay, I'm here and that's really good. Except for I need to be destroying the wings. Okay, I don't... Yeah, the hitboxes are very weird. I don't really understand them that well. Okay, that one makes a lot of sense as a ring and I need this ring. Give me these. Yeah, I'm glad it stops me. Oh yeah, I can uh, enemy bounce there, but that's uh it's terrifying. Okay, ow! Can you uh, can you please give me some room here? Okay, I can jump through those, but it doesn't seem very uh, consistent to try to aim on when the screen is split like that, but this should be easier. And I think, yep, I was able to defeat the first half of it. And it, I'm pretty sure I remember it knocking me into death. Okay, so now I just button mash, which is really weird how <laughs> this is a, this is a boss fight. Yeah, I'm just mashing the A button. Four, three, two, one. Retreat, and now it's the first boss again. Okay, keep on going, Epsio. I don't know where we're going, but we're going that way. I hate that. I hate that. That terrifies me so much. Ow. I don't want to appreciate that. Yeah, it seems like they just. One of them just switches back immediately. It's such a weird. Weird. Weird fight. And they, they always shoot exactly where you want to be. Which I guess is smart on, you know, Eggman's path, I guess, as a villain. Like, oh, I know where they're going to shoot. He's got some pretty good defenses, I guess, for what's, you know, natural to the player. But the timing is just always so frustrating. Because I have to jump up to be able to walk onto him. So hopefully he'll come back in. That was good. Yeah. Don't hit me. Nope, none of that. Yeah, if I just run around here. I think this is a good plan, actually. Yeah, that was good. No play his game, forcing me. Oh boy. So I think the next, I think the next area is the last one, if I remember correctly. Look at that B rank. I deserve that. That was much. I did much better against this boss again than I did when the Team Rose route. So I can be proud of that one. No, oh, I forgot about the jungle level. Who is you know who? What does Vector know that I don't? I mean, he's just a crocodile. Oh, look, get through the forest without being detected by the frogs. Is this a Sonic the Hedgehog stealth mission? Is this really what I'm reading right now?
Okay. Okay. I never thought I'd see the day where I had to be a be stealthy in a Sonic game, but I guess the day has come. Anyways, I guess that's it for this episode. I'll get through the Frog Jungle next time. I guess I was wrong about this being the last area. So, I think this is second to last. I know, I mean, my memory's fuzzy. So, whatever. So anyways, if you liked what you saw, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Sonic Heroes. Peace out.